Hello, alumni. I want to take a few moments here and just tell you a story that uh, happened in the fall semester of the 2013-2014 semester. And uh, I just want to let you know that what you learned when you were here, uh, we're still trying to do the same thing. This is a soul winning story uh, that was a blessing to our staff and uh, I felt like it was worth sharing with you. I felt like it would be a blessing to you as well. We have a student last semester, he's from Florida, his name is Jacob. And Jacob already has a bachelor's degree and uh, then God called him to ministry like some of you were in that same boat. And then he moved here to get a bachelor's degree here at West Coast. He was a student there in uh, uh, Florida and when he moved out here, he got a job like so many of you did when he got here, and he was working for one of the solar companies here. While he was out going door to door, trying to get sales and trying to get uh, people to set up appointments and just working his way through college, he went to a house where the homeowner was not home, but somebody was there visiting, and uh, they promised to get the homeowner on the phone, so homeowner got on the phone, uh, they're talking to a consultant, and Jacob is just sort of standing there talking with this other gentleman that's there that doesn't even live at the house. And long story short, this guy that was at that house, uh, whose name is Tyler, uh, Tyler also has just recently moved to the Antelope Valley, moved in the same month. They most, both moved out here in August. Uh, they both moved out here from Florida. Uh, they both have bachelor's degrees. They're both, uh, their fields were avionics and uh, those kind of issues. And uh, long story short, they started talking there in the driveway. Uh, Jacob told him he was a Bible college student. The guy said, I've been looking for a church, but I don't want to go to a place I don't know anybody, and you know, I'm from Florida. And, well, Jacob goes, I'm from Florida as well, and one from Orlando, one from Daytona. Well, Tyler came the next day, and Jacob sat with him. Tyler listened to the service, raised his hand during the invitation, and uh, Jacob asked if he would go forward. He wasn't quite ready to go forward, so Jacob said, well, why don't we go grab a cup of coffee over at the GA? Took him to our Great Awakening coffee shop, shared the gospel with him there. Tyler got saved that Sunday morning. And Tyler is a single young man. He's been coming to my singles class. He's got baptized in the month of December, and they're just growing. And uh, here's a college student who just, out on his job, met somebody, brought him to church, led him to Christ. It's what we've been doing since we started the college since 1995. And that blessing, that story was a blessing to me. I want to share it with you. I want to just end it with Jacob's own words. This is what he posted on his Facebook page. What are the odds that an economics graduate from UCF in Orlando an aeronautical engineering graduate from Embry-Riddle in Daytona would both move to Lancaster, California in the same month, August, after graduating with bachelor's degrees in the same year, 2013. What are the odds that those two graduates would meet at someone else's house in the driveway while one was out doing door-to-door -door work for a solar company? What are the odds that the homeowner would even be interested enough in the solar to schedule a consultation on the phone? What are the odds that the homeowner would be on the phone long enough to allow those two graduates to start up a conversation in his driveway? What are the odds that spiritual matters would come up in that conversation to begin with? And what are the odds that the following morning the one graduate would attend church with the other and then accept Christ? What are the odds? Honestly, not too good, but God's sovereignty is not confined by the odds. And here's a student who just took advantage of an opportunity. It wasn't a soul winning time, but God gave him a passion for souls. He had tracks on him, and as a result of that, there's someone else on their way to heaven and just like so many stories I remember hearing from you when you were in my personal evangelism class, it still works, and I want to challenge you in this new year. Keep sharing the gospel. It does change lives. Looking forward to hearing what God's doing in your ministry. Take care.